Hi guys, welcome back to the Inner Circle. We are here to talk about Laurent Ferrier, uh, and as you know, they are announced as the next big thing among independent makers. People love calling them the next FB Jean. I'm not going to give a verdict on this, but I think for the kind of watches they produce, they still bring to the table a good value proposition. There was a moment right when the crisis hit, uh, right around the time when uh, the unfortunate war in, <clears throat> in Ukraine had started. There were some incredible deals under $30,000. Now they're Grade 5 Titanium Classic Origin Series, which is finished in this beautiful mirror polish and looks just as luxurious as any material, retails around 35000 in U.S. dollars. Uh, and then their Classic Square, which also features uh, their micro-rotor caliber, lists around 50,000. And at that particular point in time, uh, there were some examples floating at around 30K, which was an incredible bargain. The prices now seem to have settled uh, right around and even under list and sometimes considerably under list price for some of these models with their integrated bracelets, uh, sports watch, uh, retailing multiple times, the retail pricing um, or trending, I should say. So we're not going to talk about that watch, but I have a few great examples uh, of watches that I think represent some of the core values of Laurent Ferrier. And I also have a fourth one as a bonus that's something a little more exclusive, uh, very much rare, and priced perhaps a little bit higher, but possibly worth spending your money on if you are looking for a piece at that level of exclusivity. Um, now, quick few facts about Laurent Ferrier. Laurent Ferrier is actually trained as a watchmaker himself. Um, he also has this cool background as a gentleman driver. And in fact, the company is co-founded uh, with his teammate, uh, François... Uh, oh my God, I'm back. François Servana, uh, who was his teammate when they actually raced together in Le Mans. Um, and they were positioned third, uh, right behind Paul Newman's team. So they have that... Uh, they have that beautiful history together, which in a way adds a certain prestige, uh, legacy, and even patina to the brand's existence, especially in that uh, sports category. But more importantly, Laurent Ferrier has decades of experience working uh, as they call uh, in the about page of their website at the famous Genevan watchmaking brand and manu famous manufacturer. Um, that is, of course, Patek Philippe. Uh, he worked at their technical department for some years and for the longest time he was heading their 
creation or creation design department. Uh, in fact, it is said that the Aquanaut model, which was iterated uh, from the original Gerald Janta design, the Nautilus, was his brainchild. And all that being said, um, the pieces also have beautifully finished, if also austerely laid out uh, hand-wound movements, at least the ones that I'm going to present to you today, with uh, free sprung balances, with Pregue overcoil, as well as Laurent Ferrier's version of the natural escapement. So great movements, great finishing, a wonderful high horology brand that has some measure of recognition already in the mainstream, but still offers a nice value proposition. This is my first listing of the today. It is a classic origin in mirror polished grade five titanium with the opaline dial, red accents, seconds on the sub dial at six. Uh, the crosshair brings the, a perfect balance to the dial. The Asagai hands that are formed in the shape of a spare, I think make this a very elegant dress watch with lots of character and with a certain lightness of heart, which of course is backed by the lightness of the material as well. It is presented on this new book strap and of course its original buckle box and papers listed by a professional dealer out of the united states this piece is for twenty eight thousand four hundred in us dollars at chrono 24 but the seller is entertaining offers as well. The second piece is a little more unusual, and to my understanding, it is now discontinued. This is Laurent Ferrier's uh, rectangular watch, their Art Deco design, with a single oversized Roman numeral at 12 o'clock, and the rest of the indices laid out radially around the rec well around the elliptical dial, I can say, in this kind of sun ray like motif. A lovely black dial in contrast with the mirror polishing of the case which here is in stainless steel. And the movement is actually form fitted for the case. Once again, the hand wound movement. <coughs> Pardon me. I wanted to make sure the dimensions of the piece Sorry, guys, I should have double checked this, but it's going to take too long. It is 30 by 44 uh, with a thickness of 14.58 millimeters. So, very similar to uh, Grantai. Jeje de Coutre Reverso, but a unique case shape that blends rectangular and, and elliptical forms together. This piece is listed by a professional dealer out of the United States at Chrono 24. 
the price is marked as 32,500 in US dollars, but the seller is open to negotiation as well. Finally, we have my favorite design in their lineup, which is kind of a elegant, dressier version of the sort of cushion case we, or, we associate with the original Rolex Oyster, or of course, more recently with Panerai. And of course, that's not a coincidence since it was the Rolex that supplied those cases to Officina Panerai at their inception. This is the square with the micro rotor movements. I think that oversized onion crown fits the case shape and vibe beautifully. These are rendered in stainless steel. And have a self-winding micro rotor movement as opposed to <coughs> the hand wound movement of the classic origin. The micro rotor itself with a full rotor weight that has this snail decoration. And the natural escapement as well. This piece is also offered as a full set in a very nice condition, certainly unabused, if also worn. A matte blue dial that is complemented, if also intensified, by a navy alligator strap. This piece is listed by a professional dealer out of Belgium for 41367 in US dollars but the seller remains open to negotiation. Finally, there's a piece that was produced as a limited edition for Revolution Magazine and The Rake. Uh, this was a collab between Waco's team and Laurent Ferrier, and they made a very unique example of the classic origin with a uh, sector dial in champagne with these oversized Breguet numerals. I think it was one of the most aesthetically pleasing pieces I have ever seen in this particular category. There were maybe about a dozen pieces and they were almost immediately sold out. I believe Auto Montanari, AKA John Goldberger has one. So, you know, the kinds of uh, clients and collectors they have gone to, it's not like one is cropping up on the market anytime soon or with any sort of frequency. So this is a very unique piece. This apparently actually happens to be the prototype, which makes it in a way even more unique and rare. Not necessarily more attractive, but it is the lucky number 13, so to speak. So that is that is very interesting to know. It does come with a complementary stainless steel bracelet, uh, which was apparently included as part of the set, but is not necessarily made by the maker itself by Laurent Ferrier. The dial fixtures are in 18 karat white gold and they are ruthenium plated. The paper certify that this is the P01 V prototype. 
the classic origin in 40 millimeters rendered in stainless steel in this collaboration between Laurent Ferrier and Waco's team. In with a very striking champagne sector dial, the oversized Prege numerals are an exceptional delight. And uniquely for this particular edition, that hand-wound movement is actually plated in this frosted gold finish, which gives it, I think, a very unique and uh, final finishing touch. What a beautiful watch. This is the Laurent Ferrier Classic Origin in collaboration with Revolution and the Rake, the prototype, listed here by a dealer out of New Zealand, I want to say. Okay, my bad. Australia. Sorry. Um, uh, my flag knowledge is flagging. This piece is listed by a dealer out of Australia for 45156 The seller also entertains offers, but that is the buy now option on Chrono 24. This completes my four picks. Uh, as an exception, I think my pick of the litter, if you are actually rolling in this category, would be the bonus pick, would be this particular watch, because it is so unique, because it is one of only 13, and by another count, one of one. Um, and it is also still not so exorbitantly priced compared to how these pieces already retail. So that's my pick, but I've also presented you this beautiful square with the micro rotor movement with a blue dial. The now discontinued bridge one in stainless steel and a stunning Art Deco design and the most austere but also supremely elegant classic origin with an opaline dial encased in mirror polished grade five titanium. This was Laurent Ferrier. If you have any more questions about the brand Laurent Ferrier or any of the particular listings or models that I discussed in this episode, please feel free to reach out to me. Any watch-related questions whatsoever, write to me here on Patreon. Send me a message via email at Lord Hellespont V. That is Lord Hellespont B at gmail.com. And of course, you can find me on Instagram as well, at young.brando. I remain at your service. As always, I'm grateful for your persistent support. I look forward to seeing you in the next live stream. Until then, adieu.